Hi FossTube, it's Lorna the Ladybird Stitcher. Today is the 5th of August, it's a Sunday. Um, if anyone noticed, I wasn't around on Wednesday. Um, I was a bit sick. We've all been a bit sick, um, but we're all over it now, so it's all good. Um, we've been really busy. It's all good busy. Um, but yeah, August is just, July and August are always really busy for us, but we'll get through it. Um, so I'm just going to jump right in because I only have a limited time before my husband and daughter get back from um, her swimming lessons. Um, so I'm going to go through whips and then I'll try and do some plans. And I've got a lot of hauls, so if you're not interested in that, I might just leave that till the end. Um, I haven't finished any books, so I won't have books today. So yeah, I'll get started. Um, so whips, in, not in any order. I worked on because of Joan Elliott July. I worked on Ladybird Fairy by Joan Elliott. And here's where it was last time you saw it. And here it is now. So I finished her right wing, or the top right wing anyway. Um, there's no more wing showing on this side, but there's another Another couple of wings at the bottom there, so I'll do that next time I, I get her out. But um, I achieved my goal of getting up to that, um, up to the top of her dress, so I'm really happy with that. And this is on 28 Count Lugana, Opal Lugana in Jaded by Colour Cascade Fabrics. So thank you to everyone who participated. Well, thank you for holding that, um, mainly Jessie Marie, because um, I really enjoy stitching on my Ladybird Fairy, and I don't often get the chance to. So, and thank you to everyone who participated in that. That was really fun. I also worked on my Story Keep secret door, and here's what it will look like when it's finished. And here's what it looked like the last time you saw it. And here it is now. So I've kind of tidied up the last column there. I think this is about halfway down the page. This is page three. And really enjoying that still. So, yeah. Really pretty piece. And this is on 25 count with Ghana, one over one with pieces. I also worked on my Prairie Schooler alphabet. Um, so this is, this is G and H that I worked on this month. Um, so that's the GHI leaflet. This is just a leaflet. Um, I was too late to get the original. But here's what it looked like the last time you saw it. And here's where it is now. So I finished G and H. Um, the only change I made to H The top heart should have just been brown, um, just at the top of a building. But my daughter, her her name is Heidi, it starts with H, she loves the letter H, and she asked me to, to put hearts in um, the H block for her. And this one is for her, so I tried to do that. Other than that, um, I don't fill in the, the letter. Um, the pattern has all the letters filled in, but I don't think it'll show up as well on the on the dark brown, so I don't do that. But there it is. I've nearly finished this piece of fabric. Uh, I'll work on I later this month and get that done. And this is being stitched on 28 count Lugana 1 over 1 full crosses. And I'm stitching that in three different pieces of fabric. Um, I also worked on Guardians of Notre Dame. Um, this is a 
Mystery Sale by Ingleside Imaginarium and here's what it looked like the last time you saw it. And here it is now. Um, for this month all I need to do is the back stitching. So I'm nearly there. I worked on it last night so that's why it's still in the queue snap. Um, so I'm hoping to do that tomorrow. I have other plans for today which I'll go into a bit later. So yeah, that's the... If it looks like he's eating something, it does... I think he is supposed to be. <laughs> um, and that'll show up a bit more when I put the back stitch in. Um, I had a couple of new starts. The first one was the Adventure Awaits Mystery Cell by Caterpillar Cross Stitch. And this was a kit that the designer sent me um, to tell you about, but also to work on myself. So I did tell her I probably wouldn't start it until next year, but I felt like working on something simple. Um, this one is very simplistic and I had my doubts, to be honest. Um, I wasn't sure whether I would, um, whether it would be challenging, challenging enough for me. Um, it probably isn't very challenging. It is designed for new stitches, um, for beginner stitches, but it is something nice to have when you just feel like something simple to stitch on in front of the TV. Um, that's my honest opinion, and I do enjoy it. Um, when the mood strikes. So that's, I've only made a small start there. I'm not gonna keep in, keep, oh, sorry. I've only made a small start there. So you can see the plane, um, that's the top of a windmill, Eiffel Tower and London bus. That is the top of a glass of champagne, I think, from Champagne in France. So I've started on Europe. I don't think I'll be able to keep up to date with this one but when the mood strikes it's nice to just have something simple to work on so and I've seen other people working on it I really like what what I'm seeing so I'm happy with that it's on 28 count even weave and I'm not sure of the colorway um, on that one. okay so that was my first new start I worked on um, the Jessie Marie Does Stuff Turns 5 sale. So um, happy anniversary, Jessie Marie. I love your videos. Um, and there was a sale where the first day we worked on J, the second day we worked on M, um, the third day was D, and the fourth day was S, and then the fifth day was anything we felt like. So the first day was Jay and I worked on Jay for Juliet by Tilton Crafts and here's what it will look like when it's finished. And here's what it looked like the last time you saw it. And that's where it is now. So I've started on page five. That is into the second column. I worked on this one um, day one and day five. Um, so, and I'm going to use this one to do my by the numbers cell for the full coverage fanatics um, 1200, where you've got to get 1200 stitches in a month. So, I should be able to do that. This this bottom part of the columns it only has about three different colors in it so it goes really quickly still really enjoying this one and all the colors it's gonna be huge but and it will take me a long long time but I'm still really enjoying it and that is artwork by Takaki it's also stitched on 25 count Lugana one over one full cross full cross stitches so that was day one and day five um, for M, I worked on a mirabilia piece and I pulled out Enchanted Mermaid and I didn't bring the pattern but here's what it will look like when it's finished. And here's what it looked like the last time you saw it.
and here it is now. So I worked a little bit more on her hair. Not much progress, but it's getting there. There is a little bit here, which is very hard to see. It's it's um chronic. Yeah, this is on Opal. It's by Silkweaver. It's 28 Count Logan Lugana, sorry, Opal. And it's called Summer Sunset. And I just got this on a stash on load site, on the Aussie stash on load site. I was going to work on Winter Queen, but I'm still not happy with the fabric I'm working on. And none of the fabric I had at the time were appropriate, I didn't think. I did a floss toss on the March fabric of the month that I received from Colour Cascade Fabrics, and I didn't think that would show up as well. Um, but I think I've received one since then that might work. So I'll go into that a little bit later. For day three, um, it was the letter D and I started a new Mill Hill kit. That's called Diamond Holiday, is that one? I've had this for a long time. Um, it's pretty well beaten up. Um, but the chart still works. So it's a new start and that's how much I managed to get done. This is another one that's nice and simple to have when not really in the mood for anything detailed. Um, I've nearly finished all the stitching and I'll be moving on to the beads really soon. So, And then for day four, it was S and I worked, pulled out my Six Wives of Henry VIII by the Primitive Hair. And that's what it will look like when it's finished. And here's what it looked like the last time you saw it. And there it is now. So I guess I completed, well, I didn't complete. This is gonna be really big, a lot bigger than you would think. Um, and I didn't realize how big, um, how big this section actually is going to be. This is the Catherine of Aragon um, corner. First corner on the left, top left. And these, this really isn't even halfway. So it is going to be quite big. Um, just for that Catherine of Aragon. So I did her face, her hair, and a little bit more of the, of the border of that um, sort of tent that she's in. So that's, that's that one. It is on a piece of fabric called Old Salem, I believe. Yep, 30 count Old Salem linen, which was also by the Primitive Hair. Okay, so my plans for today. Today is Joanna's birthday. Hi, Joanna. Happy birthday. Um, she is Vintage Chick Stitcher here on Floss Tube, and if you don't watch her, you really should. She's got a lovely channel. Um, she has asked that we do a Christmas sale for her birthday, and I've decided to participate in that. She showed on her Instagram page, Santa's Village by Country Cottage Needleworks, and I'm also working on that one, but I've only finished the first one. I've only finished the first building and I think that's called Santa's house. So today I will be starting on Poinsettia Place, which will go right next to it. So I'm looking forward to getting into that. I haven't worked on this piece for a long time, so it'll be nice to pick it up again. And this is just on I think it was what was recommended because I got it from 123 Stitch when I ordered the rest of them. And I ordered all the patterns. Um, that was Santa's house, that was the first one. And 
that'll be the next one in set of place. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what this linen's called, but it's just basic. I think it might even be mushroom. Okay, so that's it for plans because the rest of the month, of course, is arbitrary August, which um, uh, Stitching Mummy, Sarah, is... Hi, Sarah. Um, she's running that one, and that's um, where you pick out anything you choose, basically, to work on. Um, she's using a random generator. Um, so I want to work on Santa's Village. I also want to finish my 1,200 stitches for... Um, the full coverage fanatics challenge um, and then I want to pick up I in my prairie school or alphabet and once that's all done I will do the random generator to pick out a chart to work on for the rest of the month um, I haven't decided whether I will just work on the, that same chart for the rest of the month or just for a few days and do the same again until the end of the month um, I still haven't worked out what I want to do there so we'll see how it goes um, now for haul, I got, I've had a lot um, that I ordered from Janet um, at JK's Cross Stitch Supplies, which is a supplier that um, serves Australia, Australian stitches. I'll leave her details below. She's got a Facebook group um, that you can order from. And I've just been asking her to kind of, um, do you have this, do you have that? And she's just been building it up until everything arrived. So I got a massive package from her. Um, I got a cone of 3371 DMC. This is for you, Claire, Pyrex Stitcher. This, this is her least favorite color of the DMC range. Um, I got this because it seems to be, it's not my favorite color, but it seems to be in every single chart that I stitch. So I decided rather than keep buying different skeins of this color, I just decided to go for a cone. So I now have white and 3371 and eventually I'll buy black as well. I also asked Janet to get me two Mirabilias and I got Mermaid Undine and Mermaid of the Pearls. And I thought this one was out of print so I was very happy that she could get it for me. And it was... It was actually printed in 1997, so very happy to have that one. This is just from the account Lugana. Um, so it's about two meters. I've got one of those meters belongs to my friend Robin. So when I see her, I'll give her that. I also got two pieces of 28 count Joblin in Summer Sky. And this is by, I believe it's Witch Elk that has these. And I got two pieces of this one. And I love it. It's a beautiful, um, beautiful piece for mermaids. I did my um, in elegant, no, my emerald mermaid was stitched on this fabric, but it was on 32 count. This is the 28 count. And so it's a beautiful colour. Um, and I've got two pieces of that. So that was all from Janet. Lots of fabric, a couple of Mirabilia's and my cone. There were also some DMC's and, and Nymo thread and that kind of thing. A little bit boring but necessary. I was thrilled to find my unicorn chart on Stash Unload. And my unicorn chart, if you're wondering, is the Prairie Schooler with a wise. I had gone to the the Sydney Craft Show um, late June, and I found a lady there who was what well, was a business there who was selling lots of Prairie Schoolers, and she seemed to have a couple there that were kind of maybe out of print. I wasn't sure. And I asked her if she could get this one in and she said, sure. And I was really surprised. I said, really? I think it's out of print. She said, well, we can try, but I'm pretty sure I can get it. She did try. She wasn't able to, but that's okay. She's um, There's another one on its way to me from her, um, which I will show you when it arrives. She just needed to restock. 
Um, then um, when she told me that it wasn't available, um, which I kind of knew, I was ready for that. But then I went on to Stash Unload and a lady was selling it for $8. And I was thrilled. I couldn't say me please fast enough and I got it. So really happy about that. I hope to start it really soon. I'm not going to wait. I just want to get into it. Um, I've been wanting this chart since the day I saw it and it had already been too late then. Um, the lady that, that um, I was originally going to get it from, the business, um, she told me that when she ordered the other one for me, um, I think it's Autumn Leaves or something like that, um, they told her that this one will not be reprinted. Um, you know how they're reprinting some other Prairie Schooler ones? Um, she was told that this one will never be reprinted. I don't know the reason for that. I don't know whether that's 100% true. Um, if they get enough demand, maybe they will. I don't know. But um, if this is one that you're after and you see it somewhere, I suggest you you do get, get it because um, it is in short supply. So, yeah, thrilled to have that. And I've been kitting it up. I've got colours. I ordered some other DMCs from JK's Cross Stitching Supplies and I got those. So I'm looking forward to starting that. And I don't think it will be too much of a wait now. I've got the fabric, so I'll just use plain fabric. So happy to have that. I finally received my May Fabric of the Month from Colour Cascade Fabrics. This is 28 count uh, Lugana. 28 count plain Lugana. Um, it's called Angel of the Morning and it's a really pretty fabric. So I'm not sure what, what I'm going to stitch on that yet, but I'm sure it'll come in handy for something. Um, this is Cottage Garden Samplings. It's the second of the Songbirds Garden series. Um, I haven't got the first one yet because I have ordered the whole set from Tammy and she's still trying, she's still dyeing the fabric that I ordered for it. I've waited seven weeks now, so I'm hoping I receive it really soon. Um, so yeah, that's the, that's the second one. It's really, really pretty. It's called Merriam Bright. Um, it's quite big. It is 159 stitches square, so... It is a big piece and I was hoping to stitch this on the same fabric so I'm pretty sure I'd be able to but it's going to be pretty big um, so I'm waiting for that fabric to arrive it is it calls for weeks dye works I'm not sure if I'll stitch it in those colors um, I'm not a big fan of weeks dye works I think I made a mistake last in my last video I said that the um i was really into um strawberry fields forever by the blackbird designs and i think i made a mistake last time i was i was saying that it's stitched in uh classic color works it's actually mainly stitched in gassed general arts the samples the general arts sampler thread so sorry about that but that's the right um I did have to look that up and that was the right um, threads that it uses. This is another one that I got from Stash Unload. It's called Dreaming of Tulips. Um, it's by Rosewood Manor. It's my first Rosewood Manor chart. I love tulips. So I, I don't have any plans to start this soon, but I'm glad it's in my stash. Uh, Something else, I placed an order with Arts and Designs um, who are in the UK. They offer free shipping all around the world for um, charts only. So, and they're really quick. So I ordered Shimmering Mermaid by Mirabilia. This is a Nora Corbett, it's called Cherry Blossom. And the first in the Garden Club series by Blackbird Designs called Basket of Cherries. I've seen this stitched up and really liked it. Um, I'm not not sure that I'll get the rest of the 
the rest of the designs in this series, but I do like this one. Um, I will leave the details of Arts and Designs below. They charge you in your currency and they ship, like I said, around the world, they ship all charts free of charge. So they're really worth checking out. I, I managed to receive them within a week after I order. I've got an order, another order with them that I'm hoping to receive this week. So I'm really looking forward to receiving that. And if you think I've got a lot of mirabilias this month, it's because I'm getting a little bit nervous about them going out of print. Um, these two are out of print, but they were the ones that were re they were two of the ones that were reprinted recently. Um, and I got these from Thistle Needlework. Someone posted on Facebook that Thistle Needleworks still had some of the reprinted charts, and I went on and found the two that I was the two others that I was after. I'll leave these details below. They're really good to work with as well. Um, again, these came within a month from Connecticut in the US. Uh, sorry, within a week I received them in, here in Australia. Um, and they actually told me, um, I asked them to hold off on sending them and to let me know how much it would cost to ship them to Australia. And when they told me, I said, yes, go ahead. They gave me two options um, and I went for the slightly more secure option, which was only a little bit uh, more expensive. So they were really good to work with as well. So I got Butterfly Fairy and the Seaside Kingdom. Um, I saw St Sarah Stitching Mummy's more, most recent video. I think it's I think it's the most recent video, but she has this completed and it is stunning. So really happy with that. And they also sent me a free free chart um, it's just a printed piece um, just a flower there so it's designed by Ann Peden in 2009 and her um oh no this was from Arts and Design sorry yeah not from Thistle Needleworks this was sent by Arts and Designs because that was that's the website that's on there so that's the mirabilias i received so yeah i am getting nervous that some of the older ones are going out of print and so when i see them at a reasonable price i'm just collecting them because i don't want to kind of have to be chasing them um on stash Unload, my friend sylvana had some stitches and spice fabric for sale and I love stitches and spice fabric they're unfortunately out of print now but if I see it I try and, and um, grab it she's got 20 she had 28 count Jobelin um, it's a fat quarter and it's called camo fudge and that's it there it is a dark gray and I'm gonna see if this one will work for winter queen so I will hopefully have some more on Winter Queen next by the end of this month um, because next month I will be starting the Spring Queen so I'm hoping to get some time on Summer Queen on Winter Queen uh, and that is a sell I am doing with Belinda Aussie Stitcher Hi Belinda, if you're watching, please check out her channel. Um, she also has a really nice channel. And I think um, Sarah Stitching Mummy is also working with us on Winter Queen, that one. Um, I also bought a magnetic board. I don't have one and I thought it would be handy with the Lowry frame. The Lowry stand, sorry. And Sylvana sent me this um, Madeira thread. It's a beautiful red. It's number 0508L11. And it's 10 metres long. So that's a lot, of, a lot of thread there. So thank you for that, Sylvana. And that is it. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm hoping to be back either in two weeks on a Wednesday or on a Sunday. Hopefully it's a Wednesday. That seems to work out better for me. I'll have the rest of the day to... Um, to edit the video and load it. Um, I don't think this video will be loaded today. Um, we are going out shortly. Um, as soon as they get back from swimming, we're going out. Um, and then 
everyone else will be wanting to use the internet for the rest of the day so I probably won't won't get to load, upload this video until tonight um, so it'll probably upload overnight and you'll see it tomorrow hopefully um, I hope everyone enjoys their week or their two weeks coming up um, until my next video enjoy the month of August um, I hope it cools down a little bit for people who are sweltering in Europe and the US and other parts of the northern northern hemisphere um, it has con it has warmed up considerably here in Sydney um, so it feels a bit more like spring than winter here so um, it's actually really pleasant it's it's nice and mild but if you are freezing wherever you are I hope it warms up a little bit for you and I will see you in two weeks. Happy stitching. Bye, everyone.